Hi there guys, it's Chris here with SelfMadeNewbie.com and in this video we're going to go through the best universal remotes currently out there today. Now I've narrowed this list down to my absolute favorite top five picks. So no matter what you're looking for, there'll definitely be something on this list for you. So before we jump in, drop a like and subscribe and hit the bell to be updated with new videos. All right, so as usual, I'm gonna skip all the fluff and just jump right into my recommendations. If you wanna confirm what they are, do go down in the description there and check out that list to ensure you get the absolute lowest price. All right, so kicking it off with my first recommendation, this is my personal favorite, and this is the Logitech Harmony Elite. Now this was discontinued a while back, but you can still get it, and it does remain, in my opinion, to be the best universal remote. It includes broad device support for over 270,000 entertainment and smartphone devices, as well as customizable one-touch macros. It features a small capacitive touch screen that makes navigating a potentially dizzying array of devices very easy to follow. And though Logitech no longer manufactures Harmony remotes, the company does still update them, so they are still a vi viable option, and if you click below, you can still find these. That said, getting a Harmony Elite for a reasonable price also isn't easy. It was expensive from the start, retailing at about $349. And now that there's limited supply, the price has kind of remained around there, if not gone up in certain places. Uh, so do check that link below, as I said. Even used models uh, can be pretty expensive, uh, but still, if you are searching for a solid, all-round, versatile, feature-rich, universal remote, nothing really touches this. So the pros, in a nutshell, the one-touch actions, the custom activities, a capacitive touch screen that makes it easy to control lots of devices. The cons are expensive and also not in production, so harder to find new, especially. The next one on my list is going to be my recommendation for the best home theater option and this is the Sofa Baton U1. So though I do like the Harmony remote, there are still other companies making other great universal remotes. Case in point, the Sofa Baton U1 can connect to over 350,000 devices from 6,000 brands and features a companion iOS and Android app so you can configure the remote on the fly. It can control up to 15 devices at once using IR Blast and Bluetooth. You can also design buttons to perform specific actions and create shortcuts to launch different activities. So this does all that and more for around about $69. Again, check that link and it's far less than the Harmony remote. Um, before scarcity drove up the price especially. And though it isn't as easy to program and can't control Wi-Fi based devices like smart light bulbs, it does give the Harmony a run for their money. It's convenient, affordable, and a no compromise universal remote in a reasonably polished package. So in a nutshell, I like the small OLED display. It can control up to 15 devices and supports over 350,000 devices. The cons are it can't control Wi-Fi based devices. The next one on my list is my recommendation for the best simple option and this is the One for All Smart Control 8. So the One for All Smart Control 8 resembles a stock remote you'd get with a TV but can actually do a lot more. It can control up to eight devices via infrared which will work with everything from a TV to set top box to a Blu-ray player. It also features customizable shortcut keys that you can program via a smartphone app. And my favorite feature is the remote finder, which lets you use a companion app on your smartphone to make the remote emit a noise so you can track it down when you've dropped it between your sofa cushions, for example. The Smart Control 8 only communicates with devices via IR Blast, so it's really just for home entertainment centers rather than a full suite of smart devices. Still, its comparatively simple construction and narrow focus makes a solid and affordable choice if you're looking to combine a few uh, remotes around your TV. So in a nutshell, the pros, very simple and straightforward design, can control up to eight devices, and the remote finder feature is really nice too. The cons, it doesn't work with Bluetooth devices. The next one on my list is my recommendation for the best option for Apple, and this is the Apple TV Siri remote. So with a nice aluminum design and precise D-pad, the Apple TV Siri remote is the best option uh, for the company's set-top box. The third generation remote includes a mute button as well as an intuitive directional pad with a touch sensitive jog wheel, similar to the experience of using an old school iPod. Of course, you can also use the Apple TV Siri remote for system level TV functions like power and volume. For people with basic setups, that's all 
the control you're probably really going to need. Plus, Gen 3 charges via USB-C instead of Lightning, which makes many people appreciate this one. So in a nutshell, I like the clicky buttons, I like the mute button, and I also like the jog wheel controls. The cons are, it's kind of expensive if you're upgrading from an older Apple TV remote. The next one on my list is my recommendation for the best Alexa option, and this is the Amazon Fire TV Cube. So it might seem unusual for the Amazon Fire TV Cube to show up on this list of best universal remotes since it is actually a box. Uh, but the Fire Cube is a surprisingly powerful device. The set-top streaming device allows you to control your TV and any other Alexa-compatible smart device in your home with voice commands that you can speak into a small remote. So when you set aside the Alexa functionality, the Fire Cube remote, which you'll also find in many new Amazon Fire streaming devices, is fairly rudimentary. Once you get into the swing of using voice commands though, you really won't care about using or pressing any buttons anyway. So in a nutshell, the pros, the powerful voice controls, preset app buttons, and a very simplistic layout. The cons, voice recognition isn't always perfect. All right guys, so hopefully there is something on this list for you, whether you are looking for something Alexa, something Apple, an all round good pick. Uh, hopefully there's something on this list for you. If you do have any questions though, do drop them down below. And if you uh, found value in this video, it really helps out if you drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.